so hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Kati. thank you guys for joining me on another episode today so if you are new and you're not already subscribed thank you for also joining us first of all please make sure that you hit the subscribe button you see down below and then don't forget to leave your notification bell on to be aware whenever i post every video don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to leave your comments and your questions and your contributions i love an interactive section okay so i might take a while but definitely i will always attend to you guys okay so long as the uh comments are polite i don't have a problem i'll always attend to you so yeah uh without further ado let's quickly jump right onto this video so guys as can all read from the title i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an exfoliating black soap um some of my customers and some persons that i know are finding very difficult to actually scrub frequently and consistently and other people don't even have the time so uh because we know we must bathe every day um i've decided that okay i need to teach you guys how to uh use your black soap um, convert your black soap to an exfoliating soap okay if you have so much dead skin cells and you don't have the time to scrub or to exfoliate and you don't want to use too much chemical like all these yellow peeling chemicals on your skin um this soap is for you okay it will definitely exfoliate your skin to scrub out dead skin cells and to leave your skin feeling so soft and supple plus it's organic so it's totally safe okay once you use it over time all right you will definitely see amazing results you see your skin glowing see your skin looking nice and it actually will still tone up your skin okay so yeah so guys before i start please i just want to say something about uh leaving my ingredients down in the description box uh please i know that i have to apologize first of all because i really don't leave ingredients down in the description box uh, but what i do is that i always make sure that my videos is actually very very informative so um yeah if you want to like help me so i could help you please i would advise that you get to a pen and a jotter and please jot it down okay because i don't skip on my ingredients i'm very 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 um open to you guys i tell you guys everything um so because i see a lot of comments um a lot of you asking me to leave my uh ingredient down the description box okay i'm actually not planning to hide any of the ingredients okay i'm just trying to tell you that i might be too busy not to write it down down the description box okay okay so basically what i always make sure i do is to leave my information and my details if you want to reach out to me send me a dm via my instagram and all that everything all the details on my handles is down the description box i don't leave that out because i know some people might want to reach out to me to get products okay so but um listing ingredients and all i might not really have the time to do that so please don't um come at me saying i don't list out ingredients because um, sometimes some people just want those ingredients so they'll just screenshot and do what they want and don't support me by watching my video so i'm going to go straight to the ingredients right now okay so guys the first ingredient i'm going to be showing you guys is the black soap okay as i introduce i'm going to like uh do that i'm going to like um get get it mixed up together so that we can be fast okay so this is the black soap we're gonna have half of this because i'm not making i'm not producing so much soap all right so we're gonna have half of this black soap All right, so please guys make sure that your uh, bowl is um, sterilized and then next we have is our um, white Ghana bowls okay um, we're, not, we're not doing so much like I told you so yeah we're gonna have like all of this in here so next we're going to have is our um, shredded glutathione soap okay this is actually an exfoliating soap but this is actually half of the sh um, glutathione soap so we're going to have it in here okay and then next uh, we're going to have is our ozone soap we're using the yellow one okay this is actually a very good lightning product but you don't use it um by itself you have to make sure that you add it to your black soap production so it would activate or boost the lightning effect of the black soap okay so we're going to have it in here half of it of course first um powder we're going to have here is our um sugar this is my alternative to glycolic acid uh you guys know aha helps for helps with exfoliation okay so we're going to be having um 30 mils of our um of our granulated sugar into our black soap okay and then next we're going to have is our niacinamide also known as niacin or vitamin b3 powder okay it's an uh it's a treatment powder an antioxidant helps with uh, treatment of um uh, skin problems okay so we're going to have like 15 mils of niacinamide into our uh, exfoliating black soap 
production right so 15 mils okay in here of niacin amide and then next we're going to be having is our liquor rice extract this is the white liquor rice okay it helps with it's a mild whitening powder so it helps with uh toning of the skin all right so we're going to have 15 mils too into our black soap right so that's 15 mils And then next we're going to be having is our citric acid okay citric acid is another very mild exfoliating powder it helps with exfoliation so we're going to have like 7.5 mils of our citric acid so down to another very important exfoliating powder is our salicylic acid powder all right this powder is very potent so you have to be careful with the quantity it helps with exfoliation this is actually one of the major ingredients for uh um peeling for skin peeling all right if you want to go for skin peeling but uh, apart from that it helps with uh spots it helps with pimples it's a treatment or powder but very potent so you have to be careful with the quantity so for this um quantity we're going to be having just five mils of salicylic um, acid powder into this soap okay Um, so now uh, to our botanical powders. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be having here is turmeric. Turmeric contains curcumin, and curcumin is a very good lightening property. Okay, so uh, we also don't just want this uh, product or this black soap to just exfoliate the skin. We also want a toning ingredient to help us to actually lighten up the skin a little bit. Okay, to give us this very glowing effect. And turmeric is a major ingredient that does that. So we're going to be having like 30 ml of turmeric. All right, 30 mils of our turmeric powder in here. Okay. Next, um, um, the next uh, bot botanical powder we're going to be having here is sulfur powder. Okay, sulfur helps with um, spots. It helps with uh, treatment of acne. It's very good with um, um, hyperpigmentation. It helps with um, any kinds of um, dark patches. All right, but it's actually very selective, so you have to be all, you have to also stay careful with the quantity you're using when it comes to sulfur because some persons tend to react with sulfur. I said that in my previous video, and I'm saying it again. So please be very careful when you are using sulfur. So to avoid uh, problems, we're going to be having five mils of sulfur into our product. Okay, so five mils. And next we're going to be having sandalwood powder okay sandalwood powder is a very lovely botanical powder that i don't do without all right it's an all-purpose healing powder okay you can use sandalwood powder for lightening for lightening black soap you could use it for treatment black soap you could use it for exfoliating black soap it's all purpose that's why i always love to use it okay so we're going to have um 15 ml of sandalwood powder in here okay so 15 ml of our sandalwood powder in here we also know that this our black soap is not just going to exfoliate it's going to also uh heal up uh skin problems okay so because of that we're going to be having miracle powder is actually as the name implies this powder a little goes a long way it is very powerful and very potent okay so um we're going to have like few uh sprinkles of miracle powder in here all right it's a very 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 effective powder so we're going to just gonna have a few of this okay next we're going to be having is our five days whitening balls and our anti-reaction green balls okay yeah so we have two of the uh, um, anti-reaction green balls in here and two of the five days whitening green balls okay the idea is actually to have an exfoliating soap so we don't have to use too much of this but because we just want a toning effect that's why we're adding this up okay so yeah all right so down to our penetrating um mineral oils is our propylene glycol this helps with penetration okay so whatever products we're having in here propylene glycol will help you to actually get that product down to your skin very effectively okay so we have 15 mils of propylene glycol into the soap and so because we know that this is going to be an exfoliating soap it's actually going to be very drying okay because we have 
um, glycolic acid in here, we have salicylic acid in here, we have citric acid in here. They have exfoliating properties which in turn makes it very drying on the skin. So to add back moisture to the skin, we need oils and we need humectant. So uh, the first oil I'm going to be having here is going to be actually a lightening oil because we want something to actually tone up our skin. So um, my favorite uh, serum is this uh, White Now Serum. You guys know I've always been using it lately. So I'm going to have like... Um, gonna have like a uh, 7.5 mils of this into our soap okay it's actually a very active uh, serum it has lots contains lots of fruit acid so it's very very effective okay okay guys so now we're going to be using apple cider vinegar all right apple cider vinegar helps with uh toning up the skin it helps with shrinking skin pores so especially if you're using this if you're using this soap on your face which i advise you to uh if you have skin problems and you have uh, dead skin cells and you have uh, sunburn and you have hyperpigmentation i would advise you to use this soap on your face okay we're going to be having like 60 mils of this into our black soap right so it's diluted okay you could use the undiluted but I choose to use this for people that have very sensitive skin. All right. So, yeah. So, guys, now to our pure natural honey, okay? Like I said, we need lots of humectant because this is going to be very drying, okay? So, we're going to be having uh, 30 mils of our honey, okay, into our soap. So, this is 30 mils of honey into the soap. You could use glycerin. And now to our carrier oil, we're going to have the first is monster seed oil. Okay, we have 15 mils of monster seed oil, which will help us to um, give our skin a good um, glowing skin. And the next uh, oil I'm going to be using is my OD, my staple, and that is my coconut oil. Also going to be using 15 mils of coconut oil in here. Okay, so yeah. And then to our um, essential oil, we're going to have tea tree oil, which is a very, very anti-reaction um, essential oil. It is very potent, so few drops will go a long way. It helps you with treating acne, helps you with treating um, um, eczema. So it is very, very important in your production, okay? Even in lotions, it's very, very important. So we're going to have like five drops of this into our soap. Next essential oil is peppermint oil okay this will help to not just um exfol um not just um heal your skin from skin problems like psoriasis and eczema it also help you with uh, a very soothing feeling so we're gonna have like five drops of this okay now that everything is in here it is time for us to mix our soap okay so we're just gonna take our time to mix this up to a very nice paste all right so okay guys so um we are done with our mixture so uh as you can see it's actually still having a little particle so we're going to leave this for 24 hours as we always do just because we want the ingredients to infuse into each other and secondly the particles that are finding it very difficult to actually um dissolve so guys i just want to show you guys our exfoliating soap the next day so yeah this is what it looks like i gave this soap a very good stir to actually dissolve the large particles into these small particles which is pretty natural okay so once you want to use this soap, please i would advise you you want to use it on your body you want to use it on your face leave it for just nothing more than 20 minutes okay anything more will not do the job for you okay because it's a wash off product okay so yeah uh with consistency and patience you're going to exfoliate your skin with this product and you're going to also lighten up your skin so thank you guys for watching make sure you share subscribe like this video i would see you on my next video until then i would say bye